So how about if I said this? A year license with background check, $165. I think that would be a great step in the right direction. I think that would be a huge step in the right direction. But I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, one for one, four more years of here, I'm not going to come back here next year and revisit this. I don't want to, I don't want to play this game. It, to me, it's a game at that point. Yeah. You know, I, I, I like the idea of food trucks coming. We do not have any sit down restaurants really per se. I'll be honest with you, you got a hell of a competition. I mean, so does Jimmy with Quick Trip. I'll be honest with you. I know, I like winter greens. That's I'd, rather, sit down restaurant. I'd rather Jimmy's Pizza. I mean, well, but, I like but I mean, pizza. if I'm going to go sit down in a restaurant, I'm not going to go to a food truck. Yeah. You know, my big thing is, is I want to see a restaurant in town here that has breakfast. That's a huge thing. That's, I, it's not, I don't, I'm, I'm not usually in town for lunch. VFW has great breakfast. Yeah, they do. I would just say that, to, to Chris's point about, you know, the competition with the restaurants and kind of protecting our restaurants, which I think is where we, that's kind of why we came down into to a radius. To that, to that number. And while well, I'm saying the fee is structured, because you felt like it was, you know, if we have restaurants paying property tax, then we don't want to just let the food trucks come in and kind of come up. And so that's kind of where we, we set on that. We thought that was kind of a good compromise, but, um, and I don't think it's totally unreasonable to, to put that in there, but if, if the food truck is a better mousetrap, that's not their fault. You know, they found a way to, to do it better and at lower expense, less risk. And, um, so, I mean, they're, they're just taking an idea that, that worked really well and, and they're, they're going with it. So, uh, so to, to that point, I mean, I always, I, in reality, there really shouldn't be, if you want the most food trucks to come and you want most people to look at you, just have, I mean, Forest Lake is a prime example. I didn't have to go get a background check. I didn't have to go do anything. I think Washington County, I don't know if they even do anything in Washington County. They do now, you said? They don't do a background check because they have a license. Okay. They have their own license. All the counties jumped on this year. Okay. Okay, so maybe that's that's changed since I was there a couple of years ago, probably then. Yeah, but I mean, it was nothing. And, and that was one of the reasons that was so attractive is I didn't have to go to a city council meeting. I didn't have to seek approval. I could just go. And and that's, especially if you're coming from farther away, like you said, I don't, if I'm living down in Shockby and I've got a food truck and I hear that Isani is friendly to them, I mean, I don't know Isani. I don't, I'm not familiar with the community. I don't know where I would have to even go to, to find a good spot, a good corner to set up on where I've got traffic flow and I've got people coming around. So, I mean, to, for me to drive that far away, pay for $25 for a day. I mean, $25 is, that's a big chunk of, these guys are not making huge amounts of money. I mean, this is not like you just open the door and you got cash rolling in. I mean, it's not, it's just not how that works. I mean, that's just the restaurant business in general. Everything is tight. I mean, you're pinching every penny. Um, and, and to encourage that, if you really wanted most people to really take a look at it, I mean, the less it is, the easier it is to do, the more people will, will take a look at it. So that would be just my two cents. But I mean, that's, if you want people to show up, make it really easy for them. I, I agree wholeheartedly with you, but I mean, we have to make it right. Mm -hmm. I, like I said before, and I still are going to stand on that. I think the background check is a huge thing and needs to be done. I wish the state did that. That's what your group should do. Is, is yeah, yeah, right. right. I think until the state does that, I think our background check needs to stay as well. I agree. I don't think any truck owner would disagree with you on that right now. 
And if the state did it, then I don't feel like we need to do it. I anymore. don't think we need a background check for every single employee. I think no, 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 that's, no, no, we no, did. No. We did we away with that, that discussion. We, we had that discussion. It was I, the food truck operator. One. Yeah, we'd, that we'd, was that thirty dollar background check. We, that's, that's what we spent with. But I, you know, twenty five dollars, seventy five dollars. That seems okay to me. But that two hundred dollars is just. Well, I, hitting me the wrong way. I, I think, Council, if we're going to drop the annual fee just by looking at percentage wise, if we're keeping the investigator fee, which sounds like we do, or the background fee, um, then the recommendation would be probably to lower that date and month charge as well. Just because the way that the math works out, if you have someone come here six times and they pick and choose the dates, they're going to pay way more than that annual. Now, I mean, maybe they should just pay the annual up front, but then it would probably, from what I'm hearing you say, lowering the day, the month, and the year. So if you did like the 15, 50, and then if you subtract out that uh, background fee, instead of adding it into the price, it'd be at 130. If you were saying 165 with it, then it's 130, because then they got to pay the $35 background fee on top. I'm with Chris. I think it's we're moving in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I would, this would be something See, what's, what's funny is in the last four months, five months, I've considered buying a hot dog cart because nobody does gourmet hot dogs around here anymore. You know, I mean, it, but I wouldn't have a problem with paying the $165 yearly fee. I really wouldn't have that problem because that's, I'm going to be profiting from it. If I'm going to set this thing up, it's gonna be running seven days a week. It ain't gonna be sitting and just running every day or just, you know, weekends. It's gonna run every day. You better have some ballparks then. <laughs> no, it'll be Chicago <laughs> dogs. Well, I me? love ballparks. Chicago <laughs> dogs. <laughs> if we were to be setting up every day, if I was gonna set up every day like Sandy, of course that would, that would be more reasonable for us. That's not how we operate. You know, we, and, and honestly, it's not how we want to operate. Say it isn't so. I never get tired of pizza. <laughs> My kids don't either. <laughs> Jimmy does. I'm sure he is. My recommendation is to go with what Ms. Wood had proposed. Lower all these fees, but Lower I think we should fees. put a, a protectance, so to speak, like you can't set up We have that already. so close to Jimmy's Pizza. Yeah, we have that. We already have that in chapter two. But then I also want it to state that if the state does acceptance on the background check. Then we do away with it. We can do away with the background check if they go through a state but that could be a year or two down check. the line. That could be a year or two down the line. But I'd, yeah, but I'd also like his approval of that if it ever came. Yeah. Down. Yeah, I think we would evaluate that when it came down the line. I'm I sure think that so too. Chris or Chief someone might would not agree bring, with bring it to our attention because when they say, people, so. when the clerk is going to say, you know, we need you to do a background check, or he had one done, it would open the conversation up. Just and leave we it as it is. If they change it, we'll revisit it. That's what I would recommend. Yeah. And so we will move forward with these 
proposed fee changes. It needs to go in the ordinance in Chapter 160 as an ordinance amendment um, and be posted for 10 days. Then it will come back for council to formally um, approve. We also will be making um, a fitting within the water department has a fitting price change that we will also implement in that chapter 160 as well just to cover costs. So My that'll all go to I that. do have a question on that and, and Ms. Strand or, or Ms. Wood either or maybe can answer this. Why do we not have this on its own? We attached this to another ordinance, did we not? It's within its own section though within um, transient solicitor and peddlers and food trucks. So all of those are in one chapter, but they're all in their own individual sections. So there's one chapter with three sections. Four sections, I believe, but yes. Hmm. I don't see anything wrong Which with that. Pretty, as as right. it's, it's, mean, just, it's just putting the headline on it is all it is. It's basically outside people coming in to sell products, whether Correct. it be food or crafts. You know, Whatever. Whatever. Corn. Yep. Yeah. So what is this, are these changes going to be across the board? I mean, does this include the street dances then? I think we leave the street dance to what we have always had with that. No, I think I that's think just a one day deal, though. So that's a lot different. I think we should have a standard charge for. Not, we we do not already. This for this and this for that. We that's do have in there. a standard charge. We don't, so, but the difference of what we have, um, we'll make sure that the fees line up with what's in our fee schedule here for food trucks. However, we do give a discount when you're at our street dance because we ask you to come, and if you're a city business. Um, for example, Jimmy's Pizza comes to sell, they pay half the price, which is something that we adopted a long time ago because we, no offense, would we would prefer that our own businesses come sell at our events versus outside food vendors. I want Although to say we do that want diversity. It was 50 a day though, or 50 for the street dance, which. Unless you're a Sandy business, it's 25. Is that what it was? Okay. Yep. But I mean, I don't have a problem with that because we're throwing the street dance as a special event, so we yeah. can charge whatever we want for access to that to those yep. customers that were Which 25 if you're a, a business and 50 otherwise uh, right. for that event. I don't think that has to necessarily match I think with the stay. other stuff. Yeah, yeah, and it shouldn't be yeah, involved I mean, in this. But and there's, one, like the August one, there's thousands of people. There. Yeah. One thing I would say though for is, that. so we, what we were talking about, so Steve was saying 100, is that what you were talking about to the change was 165, including the background, background check? Yeah. So yearly? what it would be would be $35 for the background check. $15 per day, $50 per month, and 130 per year. When you add the 130 with the background check, it comes to 165. Okay. I mean, so to me, the daily rate is probably the most important one for more of the transient stuff. I mean, if we went like five bucks on a daily rate, 50 bucks on a month, and 100 on six months, that keeps your- Well, we're eliminated six months. Well, yeah. We yeah. just goes to a yearly. We got rid of the six months. But only having to pay the $100 well, and you're just saying going to 100 and 130 for the year, for the whole year, for yeah, the whole so that year is a better deal. But yep. the daily rate, I think, is probably that $15 a day. That's still that's pretty high. $15 for one day. Yeah. I don't know. Go to the county fair. See what see what because it costs you to be there for one day. It's a special for, event, though. I see what me, he's saying on that. I'm just that's saying like if, your you street want, dance. if you want people to show up, that daily rate is the one we have to get low because that's pretty really, low. I know, 15 but, bucks. I mean, you remember, like, it's you're pretty hard pressed to go anywhere and do anything for under 15 bucks. Right. I just, I might also, I might especially also, serve food. Let's All I'm concerned I, about is staff Mora, overhead. I've got a guy up in Mora where he has a car dealership. I pay him $50 to park there for the weekend usually. Yeah. So I'm, not only am I paying, and that, that, that's probably not totally uncommon to give some money to the wherever you're parking. Um, just to make it easy when you go in, you want to find spots. You don't want to have to go to 100 spots, so you make it worth their while to have you sit there, and, and you bring the benefit of added traffic too. You know, if somebody's coming to pick up a pizza, they might buy a car too. So, um, but <laughs> they go <laughs> hand in hand. They gotta have something to put the pizza in. Yeah. So, uh, but I mean, it's but it's not it's not that you're just paying the city stuff. You're paying other stuff too. So it's. I think making the daily rate lower is if you want to attract people, that would be the key. The, the month and the year, those all any of those numbers are fine for the, that. If you, if you plan on being here that often, you're not going to mind paying that amount. But the, the daily rate to get people to come and try it, that's that's the key. It's you know, how long is it? How much tap time is involved in this? Um, if it were per day, that's all, all I'm looking for is are we going to cover staff overhead? Roughly like 15 minutes making the permit once we get it back from Travis. Which is how much? Guess. <laughs> I don't know. 
I mean, it, not wrong. <laughs> Mike. Yeah, there we go, I'll, Mike. I'll, I'll, productive cost per hour. I mean, that can't be more than ten to fifteen bucks for. So even if we went ten cost bucks, per hour is probably got to be at least forty. Ten bucks. bucks minimum. Yeah. So if we lower that daily down to ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Lower the daily down to ten dollars. I mean, we're going to compromise on that a bit. Yeah. And I don't think ten dollars is out of line. I mean, that's what's taken. We got to print the paper off. We got to get the paper made. They got to spend yeah. the time to do it. And it's easier. You still want to encourage them to buy that monthly permit. Then you don't have to mess around with it every time they. Yep. Want to right. I'd really want them to do the yearly thing, but. The nice thing about ten bucks is they can come try it if they like right. it. They can come back again. That's, that's yeah. the key. Yeah. yeah. All right. So just to recap. Background fee is going from 75 to 35. Daily is going from 25 to 10. Monthly is going from 75 to 50. And seasonal six month is going to 130 now per year. Correct? Yes, correct. Okay. We will put that in draft and post it, and it'll come back to a future council. All right. Thank anything you. Else? That's it. For the Make agenda. a motion to adjourn. Second. Motion to adjourn by Councilman Lundin and a second by Councilman Collison. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries 5-0, therefore we stand adjourned.